Hi, I am Ricardo and welcome to the Wayfinder series. Uh, Ayurveda is actually a vast and deep subject. Among many things, it talks about uh, the body and the mind, it talks about the seasons and nature, it talks about food and plants, and how this combination can actually give us a healthy or unhealthy experience of life, depending how we interact and how we manage with all these different elements. For this series, we will talk about different aspects of Ayurveda and how we can make use of them. But for this first episode, I would like just to share a very short and simple background context of Ayurveda. So, I'll be back with you soon. So, we'll start with the name. The word Ayurveda is composed of two little Sanskrit words, the word Ayuhu and the word Veda. So the word Ayuhu is commonly translated as uh, life or longevity and Veda as knowledge of science. So common translations you would find would be the science of life or the knowledge of longevity. So Ayurveda is a system of healing or a system of medicine that developed in the Indian subcontinent thousands of years ago and it's beginning practical experience and validation ever since. And this is a very important point to understand that is not something that was completely lost in time and now all of a sudden is being revived. It's a science that has been practiced on a daily basis for thousands and thousands of years. Um, we can maybe think that there was an ancient form of healing that kind of survived and developed being passed down from generation to generation and later on it was organized and codified in different ways. Um, if we look at the classical literature we won't necessarily find the types of practices that are practiced within some ancient family traditions, let's say in India. And at the same time, other family traditions don't necessarily rely on the ancient texts to validate their knowledge. So, it's difficult to define Ayurveda as one thing only. It's rather a vast body of knowledge that was organized and developed in different ways. As a medical science, Ayurveda works within eight branches, as there is the Ashtanga Yoga, there's also Ashtanga Ayurveda. And these are the Kaya Chikitsa, um, internal or general medicine, we have Bala Chikitsa, pediatrics, we have the Graha Chikitsa, Ayurvedic psychiatry, we have Urdhvanga Chikitsa, diseases above the clavicle, let's say ear, nose, throat, eyes, etc. We have the Shalya Chikitsa, Ayurvedic surgery, we have the Visha Chikitsa, it deals with toxicology, venoms, etc. We have the Rasayana, science of rejuvenation and geriatrics, and we have the Vajikarana, uh, aphrodisiacs. The traditional training uh, of Ayurveda in India uh, would happen in what we call the Gurukula system, in which the student would live in close proximity with a teacher, or even actually leave his own family and go live with a teacher. Uh, to learn the craft until the teacher decides he would be ready to go out and face the world. Uh, this still happens in India these days, but there was some kind of standardization of the education in practice. So nowadays you will go to an Ayurvedic medical school and graduate uh, as a Vaidya or an Ayurvedic doctor. When you look at the literature, I can see two complementary layers of the Ayurvedic knowledge. The first one more directed to lifestyle and prevention. When you have your daily routines, your seasonal routines, knowledge about food and drinks, and even guidelines for social and personal conduct. Um, and this is the, the Ayurveda that is most common known in the West, and rightly so, because actually if we look, that's the, the thing that we most need right now. If we look at the diseases that are spreading across the, the globe and humanity, are what they even call lifestyle diseases. This means that with proper lifestyle, proper food habits, those diseases could be prevented. So, rightly so, it's the most known part of Ayurveda. On the other hand, there's the pure medical science, where you can find your diagnosis, prognosis, healing protocols to different and enumerated imbalances. And unfortunately, this is the lesser known part of Ayurveda. And again, in my opinion, I think it is because of this that sometimes Ayurveda is actually discredited as a valid and reliable uh, medical science. So in this episode, I just wanted to present a quick background on Ayurveda. From now on, we're going to start diving into simple but very interesting and applicable concepts. I really wanted to create a series that will help you navigate your way to well-being, and that's why the name Wayfinder. So, thank you so much for watching and see you on the next episode.